G'day, fellas. Welcome to a casting session. We're coasting. We're coaching uh, Sweden at the moment. Uh, this has been a pretty hotly requested uh, coaching request to see some Sweden coaching. I know that we did do SD Pesty, but now we've got Espresso Cat as well. So we're going to be taking a look at Espresso Cat, seeing what Espresso Cat's got. Uh, we've got villages that have been queued. It's a little bit hard for me to get used to the UI. I will say that much. Let me just move over the chat. Ooh, uh, there we go. Oh gosh, where am I going to put you guys, chat? I guess you can stay up over there. Maybe maybe over here. I'll put chat over there. There we go. All right. Hopefully that's not too bad. So we've got the two uh, torps going down. There's a 40 wood treasure in base, so not enough to build the third torp um, because they have been uh, nerfed. So up against Spain as well. So I've done a couple videos on Spain recently, so I might I might suspect that they, uh, they're they going to be looking to do some sort of water play. Now, Espresso Cat is... is Making a little bit of an error here. Well, I wouldn't say an error, but uh, just hurting. Um, doing a bit of excessive hurting at this point. Uh, when he does, doesn't, does when Expresso Cat doesn't need to be doing this hurting. Uh, Expresso Cat really just wants to be making sure all of the villagers are just gathering food at this point. So that's one of the big things. Um, so just watching out for that. So now queuing up a villager as well. Not a bad idea. Uh, it looks like only one of the top is probably gathering as well. It can be a little bit hard. Uh, let's have a look and see what the deck looks like for Espresso Cat. Oh, bit of a lag. All right. Uh, I did see the Hacker Pellet Convert card in there. That's an interesting card choice. Uh, so definitely not too bad of a start. The, the primary thing for me is, is definitely at this stage, really just focus on food collection. That's That's got to be the big thing, is focusing on food collection. We did see the Spanish War Dog just there. Um, and, and doing a bit of herding. And with the herding, one of the things that Espresso Cat is doing is sort of walking vills back from the left over to the right. The villagers just need to be killing one specific uh, member of the hunt and then just staying on, on that hunt and then slowly herding it in. Can, you can see how Espresso Cat is sending out villagers every single time to, to herd this hunt in. So doing a good job of, of hunting or of herding. But the problem is this is really going to uh, hurt Espresso Cat's age up time. So that's the consequence of, of doing that excessive herding is there's going to be uh, a, a loss of age up time. It's, it's taken me a bit of a while to get used to this uh, as well, especially also going for a market in age one, uh, probably best to avoid chopping excessive amounts of wood, which definitely seems to be the case here. It, it, you, can chop, uh, you can chop a fair amount of wood if you're going to be setting up a, um, a third torp, but other than that, it's best to avoid. Going to be losing the Explorer Cat uh, as well here. Expresso Cat's Explorer going down. So Spanish, got to be careful of them in Age 1. Just primarily because with the Spanish, their Explorer and their War Dog are notoriously strong. And so moving out some more villagers into a curious spot here. So he, he, instead of taking the villagers that were closer to the hunt and then just shooting them, Expresso Cat was moving three villagers out and then putting them and then shooting a single hunt. So it's uh it's it's not optimal play. Um, I ideally just want to be hurting with with the one villager. So that that's the thing. Definitely in the early game, the 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 one key factor that I'm seeing here is definitely needs to work on hurting. This this is going to be a big thing. We'll take a look at build order now. Going up with the uh the bishop, I think it was, or or I, I can't remember exactly which one it is, but it's the two cows and the two um. Uh, two cows and the two settlers, so that is the correct choice. Even in this matchup against Spain, I think this could be quite a difficult game. Uh, Spain is hitting age two just now. Uh, I, I did see that, so three, so doing potentially a 12-10. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a 12-10 uh, coming out from Red Wall, the Spanish player. So curious what we're going to see, whether we're going to see early muskets. Uh, a fair few villages at the moment on food when they don't necessarily need to be. I would just be uh, ideally in, in the transition period for the Swedes, you need to be sending out villagers to coin mines and building those torps up. That, that's the one big thing for Sweden. Now, you can top up your in-base coin mine, but you need to remember, you're going to be exhausting this coin mine at, at the very first point. If you know if you need coin, that's where you're going to be doing it. And right now, we don't know where any of the, the coin mines are. I suspect that just a very small walk south of the base, Expresso Cat's going to have a coin mine. And up towards the north, above the native trade post, there's also going to be another coin mine. Also, over to the left of the town center or to the west, there's also going to be another one, but that, that's a little bit more of a, a little bit less of a priority. Expresso Cat also uh, was just hitting down, uh, 
putting the barracks we can see using the hotkeys so that's that's quite a good use of hotkeys knowing how important it is to get out this this barracks as quickly as possible uh hopefully it uses more than one villager and putting the barracks on the front line so i would have been putting the barracks on the the back line just where he's putting the livestock pen curious a livestock pen uh i i don't know whether expresso cat's got the seven cows but this is probably this is not a build order i've seen so not sending i I think Expresso Cat also sent 600 wood there instead of 700 wood. I may be wrong. Uh, for anybody wondering what the ELO is, I think that uh, this is 800 ELO. Accidentally selecting all villagers here. This is a, a common mistake. I make this mistake as well sometimes. Um, and the barracks now not being built. Oh, there is a villager walking out to the barracks. So... Uh, Don Artie saying, Aussie Drunk, if I give you a wreck, will you trust to watch it? Uh, I, I can't. Um, the name Daniel saying, can you hear the guy or nah? Uh, we, we we can hear Expresso Cat, but uh, I don't think he, he's saying too much at the moment. Uh, all right. And then, so we've now got a villager moving out. I think it's looking for a coin mine potentially. You have this post on the Facebook forum about looking for a good game. I mean, I have one. Oh, Don, there. Yeah, 100%, man. If you've got a game for me, yeah, hit me up, man. That's that's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, dropping down a second barracks now. So not training any units. Okay, there's there's the first training of units. So, the, the, the okay, if I'm watching this game right right here, what Expresso Cat needs to do, I, I can already see it. Uh, I, I can already see exactly, you know, the path that we're going to take with Expresso Cat. This isn't something that we had to do with SD Pesty. SD Pesty had already sort of uh, gotten to this point is... A build order a solid build order and early game mechanics mastering the early game mechanics is really going to help you as a swedish player as as any sort of uh as, as any sort of um player it's not exclusive to sweden but nailing the beginning of the game is so important because it's going to set you up for the rest of the game so we take a look at red wall we saw that he aged up really early uh already got a massive of 10 muskets he's taken three trading posts uh, and Expresso Cat losing his uh, his units now. Bit of a tough spot. We've got is that is it just me? Is that zero idols or twenty two idols? I I I can't tell. I th I think it's seven idols. Okay, so now needing to uh, th this UI is definitely very difficult for me to to see. Losing a couple villages to the uh, muskets. So I think at this point, like for me, the primary thing that Expresso Cat's going to need to work on at this stage is. Uh, nailing down a build order in the early game and really focusing on those early game mechanics. So that's something that we're going to be able to work through together in the next game. Uh, th this UI is incredibly difficult to to navigate with my eyes. All right, we might interrupt just at this point. So, all right, how how are you finding the game so far? Bit of a tough one, hey? Really bad. Yeah, I might just you do. I think I saw a lot of stuff that you're going to be able to uh, to improve on. So um, even though it wasn't the best game, there's definitely uh, a, a lot of things that we can look at. So what I might get you to do, so um, I'll, I'll speak about what I want you to, to focus on and we'll jump into a skirmish game. Uh, so okay. the first thing is I really want you to focus on the early game and nailing down the early game. So instead of setting the map as California, um, California's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, actually, I think you get a whole bunch of sheep on California. That was maybe not the best. I put it to hardest. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll restart. We'll restart it. Uh, yeah. So j just put it on the easiest AI because it, it's not about beating the AI. It's about working out the early game. So yeah, go easy and then just make the map Central Plains. Uh, I normally find that's the best map. Uh, it's going to be up up the top. Oh. There it is. Yeah, Central Plain. All right. So uh, just as we get into the game, I'll get you to pause it just as the game starts. All right. So just pause. Wonderful. All right. So what I want you to focus on in the early game. So you, you had the, the right idea down. You know, you're collecting your crates, all that sort of stuff. Number one priority is just collecting food. So, you know, you, you, get yeah. your, you get your two torps up and then just really focus on collecting food. So you don't need to collect wood at all. And when it comes to herding, I, I'll, I'll teach you about the best way that you can do herding in the early game because I noticed that 
when it came to the way that your villagers or your settlers were herding, they weren't doing it the most effective way. So okay. I'll get you to, to start off. We'll just focus on that. We, we're not going to focus on the Explorer at the moment. So just focus on, on that for now. All right. Good job with the villager in queue. Good timing there. All right. So at this point, well, you, you want to grab uh, two villagers and, and just shoot your hunt. Make sure you shoot it as close to the town center as possible. Uh, so see how see how you're moving out there. You don't need to do that. Just shoot shoot the hunt straight away, from from where they were standing. No. Uh, and then so, yeah. So now you can do it. So it takes twelve seconds for a hunt to reset. Okay. So once you've shot the hunt in, it's going to take twelve seconds before you can shoot it again, and it's it's going to sort of go in. So in that time, you can use that little window to be shooting your hunt. So now we, what you're going to do, the two villagers that are gathering from your southmost animal. Sh in, so instead of moving that one over, yeah, move that one back. So that one, yeah, now shoot the one at the TC. No, 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 uh, send them back to where they were. The idea is you don't want to even move them. You want to just keep them on oh. on the animal that they're, that they're on. Yeah, that's probably wasting a lot of villager time. Correct. It's wasting a huge amount. So what you can do, so now... You see the, uh, so you're, you're moving a whole bunch of villagers inside the TC. You don't need to do that. You, you can send them back out to where they were. They, they were they were fine out there. Uh, that they'll move by themselves in. So what what you're doing here is you're over microing. Uh, you're over complicating no. things, and you don't need to be doing that. So you, it, it's really important that you you learn the age one macro and and, and the best way to do that. Um, so. What, yeah, what, so because I f find sometimes that I'm very slow to each up. Yeah, and so this this and way I also also gets overrun by like so many units. Yeah, so this is definitely going to help you out with that. So what I'll get you to do restart the game, uh, and we'll we'll go again. We'll practice. So I really want you to focus. So don't move your villagers around um, in the early game. Really, just focus on them collecting food as as best as you can and daniel in the chat saying and make two torps as soon as possible as well that's a really great tip yeah i usually try to do that as fast as possible right, don't forget your villager always the villager in queue straight away there we go all right so now that you can get two villagers that are on crates and just straight away just shoot shoot the hunt that's yeah you don't have to like micro them or anything like that uh, and now, so what you can do, so you're just going to uh, drop your second torp down. Uh, and yep, correct with the town center, send it out. And then so you're doing it perfectly. So you send that. And so now you shoot the closest one right there, the one that was walking in. So in, in oh. yeah, so instead of so shooting. You don't, have, you don't have to shoot like the, the back one. No, one you, you, you can shoot any of them. Uh, and then making sure you're queuing up a villager so you don't go idle. Perfect. And there you go. And and that's exactly it. And so what you can actually do, this is a bit more complex. You can use your torps to shoot animals. So if you select your torp. Yeah. I know. yeah. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah it, it can be a little bit finicky. Uh, but th that's exactly what you want to do. Uh, and th that's how you, you nail down the perfect early game. And you don't want to even be hurting. So that there was a hunt that spawned just to the east of your town center, to the right of your town center. You don't even want to be hurting that before you age up. So you see that one Sega that's out there at the moment? Don't that hurt. One. Yep, don't hurt it. Don't even don't even think about it. Not until you've started aging up. Once you start aging up, then you can hurt it because the idea is that you want to be able to... Um, the idea is that you want to be able to age up as quickly as possible. Yeah. I think it was just when you said uh, herding, I was uh, before, I was like, well, I don't do that too much. And then I just overdid it instead. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. You got to be careful not to sort of overcomplicate things. The next thing was that I noticed that your build order could definitely use a bit of work. So one of the things that I would be saying is in the transition period. So once you've aged up at the very beginning of the game, move everybody over to wood except for the guys and the girls that are herding so okay you know like you send one villager out to this hunt one villager out to that hunt that's okay 
but then everybody else needs to be on on wood and you're going to drop down I'm, I'm, I'm so silly I, f I feel like it's just stupid to waste the food on the <laughs> animal I guess it's not optimal to do it that way yeah All right, so in, instead of queuing up Vils, we'll, we'll just get you to age up. That's okay. So just practice your transition period. So now you're going to move everybody over onto wood. And then send one villager out to that, that hunt that's behind your town center. Uh, yeah, that one over there. And, and herd that one in. Yeah, that makes sense. Because sometimes I'm... I get up the barracks way too late. I'm trying to do like you said to get it up as early as possible in the next stage, but yeah. And the other thing is, you, ideally, you want to be putting the barracks behind your town center as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So put it in a defensive position. Uh, and so with with that herding villager, you keep keep him out there. Uh, so yep, go back out and now. But I, I just find it's difficult to remember when it's gone. 12 minutes yeah yeah i know what you mean yeah the, the 12 second shooting it can take time to get the rhythm down perfect even i don't remember um and then so you're, you're doing like a lot of back and forth with it just just leave it uh so just right click the okay. the musk deer and then just leave it that's fine so you, you can even just shift click it um like w when like in the, in the earlier game so i'll get you to restart one more time uh and, and we'll practice it so we'll do everything I will implement every, absolutely everything in the early game. So make sure you get those villagers in queue, get those two tops down, and don't over micro when it comes to uh, your Sagas. looking much better so now the villager that's by herself you can use her to shoot in the hunt so you see that one the one that's uh right before no no it's, come back come back go back so shoot that one that's that moving one. yep shoot that one that's moving yep perfect there you go so you don't even want to move her you just want to just get her to pop her head up shoot the hunt in and then back down that was perfect though that was really really well done that's exactly what i want to see that was really really nice expresso cat all right, so now you can use your torp to shoot the hunt back the other way. So there you go. And that way you, you save villager seconds by not shooting it with, with, uh, with something different. All right, looking pretty good. I think it's a 16 villager age up you can do. Really, really nice. All right, now there's a few more advanced mechanics that we can talk about, but I don't want to sort of overcomplicate things. I think at the moment for you, this is really what's going to be so important in you being able to, to lift yourself up, you know, out of 800 ELO, sort of start to climb towards that, you know, for uh, that 1000 mark. It's, it's going to be nailing down this early game, like, like what you're doing right now. Uh, so you're going up, I think, with 15 villages, which I think is the perfect amount. I don't think... Uh, we need to, to queue more than that, but we should be able, hopefully, to get pretty close to an Idolus with that. So we'll, we'll keep playing it out. I want to see how close you can get to Idolus. This hunt is actually moving in for you right now, so that, that's quite nice. It's always, it always feels great when the hunt actually moves in towards the town center instead of running away from it. 
sometimes I feel like you're shooting from one way and then it goes another way. Oh, that happens a lot. Back hurting. Yeah, that's an actual thing. <laughs> that's really annoying. All right, now don't forget your age up. All right, now transition period. Everyone over to wood. But make sure we send just one out. Okay, so she... You just want to keep her out there forever. So... Yeah, so you don't have to micro her too crazy. You can just, um, yeah, you can you can just so now, now just shoot shoot the one that's uh, that's closest to her. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Oh. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, but you just want to uh, uh, avoid sort of shooting it a lot and walking a lot. You want to get her gathering as quickly as possible because right now you're spending a lot of time on her and you shouldn't be. You should just be, yeah, just just leave her now. And so now drop two torps down, uh, just in your base. Um, yeah, one. So instead of shift clicking it, use two different vills. Perfect. Good job. All right. And then so once you age up, then you're going to be getting, dropping your racks down and sending that 700 wood. You can also send a villager out. You can see a coin mine on the minimap. So maybe send a single villager out to that coin mine. Uh, so you might want to send it to uh, the other coin mine as well. So there's a couple of different coin mines. Uh, so the coin mine that's out near the native trading post on your minimap. Oh. So maybe just send one villager out there for now instead of for, instead of two. So instead of don't drop the top down, you're going to need that for uh, your barracks. So now drop the barracks behind your base uh, up where the coin mine is. Yep, just up there. Perfect. So you want to use the villagers that are closest to that barracks. So you drop it down with the, the villagers that are standing right next to it. So that way you don't have to worry about walk time. And I ideally, you want to go with two villagers in instead of like five or six. Two two villagers like is the optimal number. Um, now we, you can also send the seven hundred wood from the home city. All right, and make sure you train a Corolian. So just put a single Corolian in queue. Now, with your cows, it's best to eat them straight away. You can let them fatten, but you just want to... So you can delete them or you can just uh, get your villagers onto it. So I'd just be putting all four of those villagers onto it, uh, on, onto the cows. So you, you want them, instead of on separate cows, put them all on the same cow. Oh. I always have, or I've started to build a livestock, but all maybe right. it's just a waste of wood. It's actually. definitely a waste of wood. So now queue up your Corollians. Keep going. Keep queuing. Get a batch of five. Oh, oh so close. That wasn't too bad. Um, all right, look, I think this is a pretty good start. Uh, did you want to head back into ranked and we'll see how you can go uh, again now that you've sort of like nailed it down? Honestly, a lot of what you're going to be needing to focus on is really just getting down this early game perfectly. You really just want to be sort of making sure... Uh, that you're doing your, the best that you can to gather all that food in the early game as quickly as possible. That's really what it comes down to. Uh, Ham Joe asking, what's the value or the villager equivalent value of a torp? It can range. So uh, at, at its most base level, it's about 0.5. Um, but it can move up towards one and then eventually you can get up to like two, two and a half. So one of the things that you can do is definitely do a bit more shift clicking. So with your explorer, as an example, uh, just shift click the the um, the little minion and then just shift click the treasure. Oh. I, think I probably should have said guardian. 
All right, so your villagers just finished building the top. What you can do, send him to the north. Send the villager up to the north. You're going to grab that hunt in. You're going to herd it onto your torps because torps will gather from the animals. So you can just shoot the closest animal now. Go. Yep, perfect. And then just leave him. That's fine. Now just let him just let him herd off that deer. Yep, that's okay. Okay, you might want to herd that hunt in once again. So, yeah, just remember, you can you just need to make him pop up his head. He doesn't need to shoot a specific one. Uh, and now with your torp, you're going to shoot that uh, the, the deer that's closest to it. Yeah. So it should hopefully be able to gather from that now. Yes. It is. Cool. All right, now maybe let's get this second hunt in. Uh, or this one just here. It's close un underneath your town center, I mean. Because otherwise, oh, yeah, because otherwise they're about to finish and I don't want them to shoot it up against the, the black. Oh, that was so close. I almost shot it up against the wall. Make sure you've got villagers in queue. You've got your explorer out as well. Your, the start of this game is looking really nice. Well, not a bad little treasure, so you can go for that one. So you can just do a, a classic shift click. So if you go back to, so you want to, did you shift click that one? Yeah, shift click that. Perfect. So just shift click the tiger and then onto the treasure. Okay. So you, you found 75 wood, so not too bad. That's actually enough to drop a torp down. Uh, so if you want to drop a, another torp down, go for it. So not a bad start to the game. Uh, now, you've got to be careful with where you place that torp. Uh, it's bugging out one of your villagers. Um, there we go. Uh, now, one of the things that you did forget is the shipment. So make sure you send in the shipment. And maybe just cancel this next vill that you are training. Oh no, that was not my intention. Alright, so now I get... Yep, there we go. Now transition period. So we want to pull everybody off food that's not hurting actively. Now there's another hunt down to your south, down near where your explorer is, so it might be a good idea to go start getting that one in. Oh. Well, there's two hunts down there. Nice and fertile lands. All right, so we should have enough to drop down our next torp. So keep in mind, in transition, we want to drop down two torps. Okay, just the two torps. That's it. No more, no less. Perfect. So yeah, you can just do it. You can do a shift click on that treasure, actually. Nice. Alright, so drop down one more torp. Alright, so you've got an idle villager at the moment. Probably want to herd with that idle. Oh great, you've got your hotkey for the idle as well. Alright. Now you've hit the age up, so get that 700 wood in as quickly as possible. And drop down that barracks. So going down behind the town center. Uh, it can just be on top of where, where they are right now. Yeah, perfect. So you wanted to use two villages for that. Perfect. Yep, keep hurting with that one. That feel perfect. Now check if you've got any idols as well. There it is. Now you got those cows in. Uh, those cows. Where where are your cows? 
<laughs> I can't find them. Either. They're under. They're no. standing under the trees. Uh, so yeah, you can see them right there. So you, if you just double click on the cows. So when you kill your cows, you want to kill them on top of your torps. Oh yeah. Because torps actually gather cows. So pretty nice macro. We got plenty of uh, plenty of resources that we we're getting here. Nice dropping down a second racks as well. Good timing. Uh, and plenty of resources to drop down some more torps. So you want to avoid queuing up too many villagers. So I'd probably be cancelling maybe, yeah, yeah, that's 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 a reasonable amount. And so you've got 600 wood at the moment, so you can keep dropping down torps. So that villager that was doing a herding down to the south, you can, oh no, never mind, that villager's long for this world, long gone. Unless you can get him back in. Oh, it might be close. Oh, <laughs> so close. Alright, so maybe train uh, units with both barracks. No. Damn it. Alright, maybe chuck a few, few villages over onto Queen as well. Now, you've got a shipment that you can send, so it might be a good idea if you've got ironworks to send ironworks in. Or maybe I don't have to send wood, actually. Maybe it's better with gold at this point. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to send a single villager up to the north and a single villager up to the, or down to the south. Yep, just anywhere. Doesn't really matter. Make sure you send one down to the south. There's there's a coin mine down there. Uh, so I want you to go send a villager oh, down. This one. Yeah. So just, just one villager. It doesn't need to be three. Just one is fine. Yep. Perfect. Now that villager that you sent up to the north, has that uh, that one's gone idle? Uh, don't don't drop a dock. That's, that's yeah, don't, no, no point. No. Uh, avoid, avoid dropping docks with the Swedes. Why, why, why are you not making docks with the Swedes? Uh, cause torps are, are going to be better for you. You're going to be able oh. to, yeah, torps, torps are much better. Uh, so check your idols. You've got a couple of idols at the moment. So do you have a, a hotkey for your idols? No, I don't think that. All right, there you go. So maybe keep cert. Uh, so you want her to go find a coin mine. That that villager that you just brought in. You want her to be, oh. yeah, looking for a coin mine somewhere. Oh, there he is. I so, could. Yeah, normally on this map, there's a lot of coin mines up to the north and and a, and a few down to the south. Oh yeah, now you can get those those torps generating. So maybe transition a few of your villagers uh, over to food now. Like you could probably get almost all of them onto food now. I think you, your economy is pretty good. Maybe get the hunting dogs upgrade as well if you haven't got that already. And make sure you're training your Corollians as well. You've got a batch of Corollians that are about to finish. Ah, yes, that was not good. Yeah, not, not too bad. Alright, so you really want to be focusing on collecting food at this point. Um, and, and really trying to get your age up in uh, as, as quickly as possible. Because your opponent's probably going to be aging up relatively shortly so you want to try and match them so maybe go blueberries probably a good choice here oh yeah i have 150 so. yeah definitely a good yeah good time to to blueberries that's for sure then maybe you can even push in with your corollians uh, and just see what your opponent's up to Actually, 
could. Probably a good idea to watch them though when they're doing it. Now you got that age up in. Wonderful. So are you using attack move? What is that? All right, there you go. Not a bad fight. Good little charge there as well. All right, make sure you finish those batches of Corollians as well. So just... Yep, very, very nice. Doing well with the, the Corollians on the front line. And you're rallying them in as well, so that they, they're going to keep reinforcing. All right, the age ups in, so maybe send the two Falconets from the home city. Laha asking how much time till the, the, the show match starts in 38 minutes, my friend. Good job with the veterancy as well. Training some leathers, not too bad. Just be careful, there are some doppels. Gotta be careful, those doppels. Those doppels are about to eat your leather. The leather is gone. Alright, don't forget to train some Corollians. Your batch is about to finish. Oh no. So you want to try and even up the batches. So cancel the three. See see how, yeah, one, two, three. And then cancel one from that other one. Yeah, there you go. That, that's there. there. You, want it, you kind of want them even like that. All right, maybe drop down a third barracks as well. Your economy is looking pretty good at the moment. All right, and train more, more Corollians now. Very nice. All right, I think we can probably start pushing in now. All right, keep sending in those reinforcements. Some villagers you can kill. Yeah, nice. You gotta be careful of those doppels. Very nice. Good micro as well. Well played. I don't think there's anything your opponent can do right now. I think your army's way too big. You just want to focus on your army. Oh, there you go. Well played. Yeah. So, uh, I, th I think your early game definitely looked a lot cleaner, that game. Um, we did forget to send the shipment. That's okay, though. That will come oh. in time. Um, yeah, we forgot to send the three the three settler shipment. So, that that's all right. Gained 15 ELO there, so not too bad. How does it feel? It's, uh, it still feels like I'm making a lot of mistakes. That's okay. And that's some, all right. Sometimes I just waste my cannons as well. I'm not good at micro and them. <laughs> Don't worry. I waste my cannons all the time as well. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens a lot. Um, all right. Well, Expresso Cat, we might leave it there. Um, but yeah. I, I, I really want you to focus on uh, working out that early game, okay? It's like, it, it's, it's so important to sort of get that down, really work that out. And don't over micro the villagers. Yeah, I might, I might just train in the skirmish areas to get consistency, really. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. I, the the skirmishes are perfect for for you to train in and, and really, um, you know, hone your skills. So, yeah. Well, thank you so yeah. much for taking part in this yeah. coaching session. It was a little thank bit you. shorter, but uh, yeah, I, I think that there's a lot that you can do to to sort of improve. So, thank you so much for. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'll I'll see you and uh, I'll talk to you shortly. Thanks, yeah. mate. Bye. Bye.